The future is an unpredictable place, but the vehicle manufacturers of the world are trying to make it their own. Once upon a time, we all got around by traveling on horse, but with each passing year, the transportation industry pushes us closer and closer toward back to the future style hoverboards and the Jetson style hover cars. So what's next on the horizon for the vehicle industry? These are future trucks and buses you must see. Number 15, Audi Electric Truck. Electrical cars are often criticized for their sleek, often slightly sinister appearance. But this is a whole other thing. Imagine if a tanker truck somehow managed to have a baby with a refrigerator. And that's basically what the Audi electric truck is. Oh, and it drives occasionally. With a name as creative as Truck for Audi, it would be pretty easy to dismiss this whole project as a hastily put together concept, as opposed to a practical piece of machinery. But actually, well, yeah, you might have a point. The main selling point of the Truck for Audi is all in the unique driving system. In order to drive this truck, you must sit in the fighter jet styled cockpit on top of the vehicle, complete with frightening looking helmets. How you would actually be able to drive from that position is unclear, but it looks cool. And what other purpose could a truck need? While there's no denying that this is a sleek and unforgettable vehicle, it's currently nothing more than that, a concept. However, it's highly likely that this kind of truck is the future of the transportation industry. So we all better get some fighter pilot training before it becomes reality. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or Slenderman will come from under your bed when you're sleeping. It's time for the juicy topic. This odd looking truck might strike you as the sort of thing that would be featured in 2001 A Space Odyssey, but it's a very real, in development truck called the Volvo VNL, designed by mad genius Jack Liu. While an actual prototype doesn't exist as of yet, this image represents a concept in development as part of Volvo Trucks North America internship project. It is estimated that by 2040, there are going to be far more female truckers than male truckers, so many companies are hard at work designing trucks that are now deemed to be more feminine. Now that raises a lot of questions. For example, do female drivers really need their own special feminine trucks? Personally, we don't think so. And even if they do, how do you define feminine? And will male truckers be allowed these, to be frank, cool looking trucks, or will they be stuck with the greasy looking old ones? We don't know, but what we do know is that Volvo think they need to make new feminine trucks in anticipation for 2040. Do you agree with that gender divide driven decision, or do you think it is kind of silly? And if you were a truck driver, would you drive one of these bad boys? I mean, bad girls? Comment down below with the hashtag juicy topic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 14, Ollie Concept Bus. If there's anything we can be sure of in the future, it's that all of our vehicles are going to be self-driving. It seems like every designer in every industry is looking toward a future where humans do absolutely nothing, which, well, probably wouldn't be all that different for many of us. The Ollie is a 3D printed, self-driving, partially recyclable electric shuttle bus and is being presented as a glimpse of the future. To be able to construct a functioning vehicle from 3D printed parts is pretty impressive all on its own. But to also make it self-driving feels like a massive leap into the future. But this first of its kind car has another hidden gem. It's capable of using machine learning. That means that this incredible 12-seat vehicle will basically teach itself, meaning that this could ultimately become the safest way to travel on the planet. Or it could become some weird, sentient car-human hybrid? Oh dear. Since its initial announcement, the Ollie has been used to demonstrate the incredible power of self-driving vehicles and has been heralded as a step in the right direction. 
Apparently, a recyclable, electric, 3D-printed self-driving car is considered to be a very impressive and happy accomplishment. Just wait until it becomes sentient, then we'll see who's laughing. Number 13. Mercedes-Benz Future Bus as we become more concerned with the direction in which our world is rapidly hurtling, the more car manufacturers become determined to invent some kind of elaborate, environmentally friendly method of transportation. And now we have another creatively named vehicle, the Mercedes-Benz Future Bus. Seriously, who is coming up with these? While most conventional buses are a little gross, it seems the people at Mercedes-Benz wanted to make something more futuristically appealing. And, to be fair, it seems they succeeded. The Mercedes-Benz Future Bus looks more like a pretty train than a bus. With its mid-bus double doors, allowing people to step out just as they would a subway train, although probably without the risk of falling through the gap. The interior of the bus lights up to show whether the vehicle is in semi-automated mode with blue lights or manual mode. White lights, 43-inch monitors give the passengers information, and the seats look like something from a 1960s episode of Star Trek. There's no question that this bus is a futuristic dream. Whether or not it's practical is a whole other question, but it looks pretty, and that seems to be all that really matters when it comes to futuristic cars. Who cares if they're practical? Number 12. The Transit Elevated Bus you can always count on the Chinese to shame the rest of the world with their technological marvels. While most of the Western world spend their time creating fantastical concepts for futuristic vehicles, China went ahead and built one. For real. And it was, well, it was a pretty wild few months. The Transit Elevated Bus was a 73 feet long and 27 foot wide bus, capable of carrying up to 300 people at a time. But what made it more noteworthy was that it was elevated, specifically 16 feet up in the air. That means that there's enough room beneath the bus to allow multiple lanes of vehicles to just continue using the road. When the images hit the internet, people got pretty hyped about this concept, convincing the Chinese government to build a full-scale prototype. But as the months went by, news began to slow until the whole thing came to a screeching halt. The Chinese government began an investigation into the illegal conduct of the company behind the transit elevated bus, who had conned their investors into funding this vehicle. That ultimately caused more traffic than it resolved. Months after, the government agreed to install 300 meters of track. All trace of the bus was removed. We'll always have the videos though. Number 11. Navia Autonom Shuttle while some people may like getting to talk with their cab drivers, it seems most people just want to be left the hell alone. For those people, we present your dream come true, the Autonom Shuttle. It's the dream cab for the anti-social rider. Navia's creation is an electric, autonomous, and driverless shuttle designed for cities. The idea is to reduce road congestion in major cities or urban areas while allowing travelers to make the most of their time without having to answer questions like, where are you off to? Have you traveled far? And is it alright if I take the long way but still charge you the full amount? The Autonom Shuttle can transport up to 15 people at a time, and does so without any manual input whatsoever. Using LiDAR sensors, cameras, GPS, IMU, and autometry. I don't know what any of those things are either. The car basically transforms itself into a self-driving dream. While the Autonom is not yet being used in public and urban areas, it's only a matter of time before it is. As incidents with cabs and taxis continue to be reported, it's inevitable that we will ultimately move into a position where we have no drivers whatsoever. You can practically hear the antisocial people cheering from behind their locked doors. Number 10. Vera it's a classic design of a midlife crisis, a sleek, usually convertible sports car purchased by a man in his 50s hoping to get a little boost of virility. But Vera, as she's known, is no sports car, although she does look like one. 
Vera is a truck. Well, kind of. You'll see what I mean. Designed by Volvo, Vera is an autonomous electric vehicle intended to carry and transport giant semis wherever they have to go. But, as with most cars of the future, Vera comes with a twist. This vehicle is specifically designed to operate with fewer exhaust emissions, lower noise levels, and a much safer method of transportation, effectively transforming the typical toxic transportation industry into a greener, safer, and more environmentally friendly beast. Vera is the first step on a long road to green, sustainable energy, and is already in action. Vera has already been used to transport goods from a logistics center to a port terminal in Gothenburg, Sweden, making this not only a vehicle of the future, but one that's being used at this very moment. Yeah, I think we all know it's only a matter of time before Vera is involved in a midlife crisis. Number 9. Mercedes-Benz Future Truck for decades now, we've been told not to use our phones or devices while behind the wheel. Well, prepare for a safely executed and driverless U-turn, because they've changed their minds once again. At least they've done it in style, though. Not merely content with designing the kind of environmentally friendly vehicles that other car companies are producing, Mercedes-Benz have upped their own game, developing a truck that is light years ahead of its competition. The Mercedes-Benz Future Truck 2025 would be constructed to drive at a safe speed, though it wouldn't need a driver making the moves whatsoever. This truck would be more than capable of performing its own maneuvers, including merging, braking, and pulling over for passing emergency vehicles. All of this, I should add, while the driver plays on a tablet computer. Seriously, Netflix and truck. No doubt it's going to take some time before a truck like this hits the road, but it's easy to see the appeal among those drivers that will have to operate them. You get paid to sit at the wheel and basically do nothing but watch ice road truckers. It sounds fun to me. Number 8. Vario Signature for many, a motorhome is a flashback to childhood vacations. How many people went traveling across the country in an RV or other home on wheels? Probably many of us. But how many traveled across the country in an RV that also had an onboard garage? Probably a lot less. I hope so, anyway. If I'm the only one that didn't have an onboard garage, I'm going to be furious. The Vario Signature is not just a motorhome as we know it. This is basically a full house on wheels. The Signature has all your usual facilities, such as bathrooms and living area, but the capacity for bedrooms alone is pretty crazy. You can fit in between four to six beds on one of these things. That's more than some houses. Most intriguingly, the Signature has an onboard garage, which itself is tailor-made for the car that you drive. Apparently, Vario knows that some people believe a bigger car is essential, for reasons that we don't go into here. But, you know, some people need a boost of confidence. The Vario signature is far from just another motorhome. This is a house on wheels, and it's easy to see how this could quickly become a future residence for some people. I mean, who doesn't want to drive and poop at the same time? Number 7. Tesla Cybertruck Finally, we get a name that actually sounds futuristic. The Cybertruck. Even saying it makes you want to strap on a spiked helmet and go hunting through a Mad Max-type landscape for basic necessities like water. Okay, I might have gotten ahead of myself there, but this is a cool car. Considering the stylish and intriguing name, it's fair to say that the actual design of the car is anything but sleek. This is not a car built for aesthetics, but for durability. The exterior shell of the vehicle is made of a nearly impenetrable exoskeleton, constructed from stainless steel and armor glass. Clearly, Elon Musk is a big fan of the Terminator and wanted to take no risks. The car is also completely customizable, inside and out, with some promotional art showing the back of the car transforming into a pickup truck, a ramp, and even a picnic table. 
glad to see someone finally took my picnic table idea. The Cybertruck is an unusual car for sure, but its ability to reach 60 miles per hour in as little as 3 seconds is definitely enough to keep the torque heads engaged. For the rest of us, we'll just have to assume this is some kind of unusual Terminator type tribute. It'll be back. Number 6. Iveco Z Truck as the world begins its long overdue shift to green and sustainable energy, it's good to see that even truck manufacturers are taking it seriously the world over. In fact, Singaporean manufacturer Iveco has taken it so seriously that here we have the world's first blue-green truck. That's blue as in color, it's not aqua. The Iveco Z is a wildly different truck from just about every other kind in its field. This is a vehicle specifically designed to be groundbreaking, sustainable, and zero impact. Iveco claims that the inspiration for the Iveco came from a desire to break away from the traditionally toxic systems and anticipate the shift to green energy. That resulted in enhanced aerodynamics, waste head recovery, and complete elimination of CO2 emissions. But if you want something more than just environmentally friendly, technology, it's also the safest truck in the world. Thanks to preventative technologies, the Iveco Z is designed to be automated, eliminating all accidents entirely, and providing the advanced capability to help drivers with their priorities. It's simply the safest truck on the planet. Until transformers become a real thing, I mean. Then we get safety and protection. Number 5. Walmart Advanced Vehicle Experience Yep. That's not a mistake. Not only are the major car companies working to revolutionize the transport industry, but Walmart themselves are looking to change things for the better. Welcome to the Walmart Tractor Trailer. Oh, sorry, the Walmart Advanced Vehicle Experience. We've reached peak corporate creativity on this one, guys. The Walmart Advanced Vehicle Experience, as they insist on calling it, is the end result of the company's 2005 commitment to double the fleet efficiency, allowing them to deliver more products with fewer miles. This vehicle actually managed to accomplish that, helping to provide an 84% improvement to efficiency. So how does it work? The Walmart Advanced Vehicle Experience is basically a futuristic tractor-trailer combo that also contains cutting-edge aerodynamics electrified auxiliary components, sophisticated control systems, and a strong, impressive engine. Basically, this is a badass car with a not-so-great name. While the prototype runs on diesel fuel, the plan is that it will ultimately be able to run on just about any energy source available. This makes it a lot more promising for future uses, as alternative fuels continue to become available. Maybe when they invent the Walmart Advanced Energy Source experience, we'll be able to celebrate the genius of corporate thought. Number 4. Freightliner Inspiration Truck By now, I'm sure you've gotten the message. The future has spoken. Bus drivers and truck drivers are outdated and must be made obsolete. We should accept our new computer overlords and we should allow them to force us out of our jobs without any economic assistance whatsoever. With that out of the way, look at this thing! It's so cool! The Freightliner Inspiration Truck is an autonomous truck that goes a little beyond driving itself and avoiding crashes. The Inspiration Truck features a whole bunch of Daimlers, assistance, and connectivity systems, all of which form the highly intelligent highway pilot. This basically replaces the human aspect of driving with a quick-thinking computer that drastically reduces the likelihood of crashing, driving dangerously, or any other reckless activity that we dumb dumb non-computers could possibly think up. Unlike most futuristic trucks on this list, the Freightliner Inspiration Truck has already been approved for road use. That means that whenever you use the highway and see what looks to be an ordinarily looking silver truck with the word Freightliner on it, you're looking at the future. Only, you know, it's a truck with the word Freightliner on it. Look how cool it is! Number 3. The Kamaz Flex Futurum I know what you're thinking and I agree. It's the best name for a vehicle that has ever existed in the history of vehicle names. Here's the thing though, this isn't really a truck or a bus. 
It's more of a road train. That's a thing, right? While the design may resemble a kind of high-tech science fiction prison, this is a highly versatile and impressive piece of equipment that could really be used for anything. Capable of stretching its body from 7.5 meters to 20 meters, the Flex Futurum is basically designed to carry any kind of cargo. From crates to prisoners? Powered by hydrogen electric motors, this is probably the most environmentally friendly road train you could possibly come up with. And even the mechanisms contained within are all powered by electric cables. It's a very high-tech prison, if that's what you're going to turn it into. Not quite Con Air, but... Aircon. Look, I'm doing the best with what I have. You have to expect some stinkers now and then. While the Flex Futurum is nothing more than a concept at the moment, its designers have assured the public that the vehicle will be made available for purchase at a later date. That later date being 2040. We may not even need moving prisons by then. Number 2. Hyundai HDC6 Neptune if there's nothing else that you take away from this video, I hope it's the realization that vehicles in the future are going to look a lot like moving refrigerators or toasters. I'm not sure what it is, but designers seem to have taken much inspiration from their kitchens. Anyway, may I present to you the next step in zero carbon emission fuel cell electric truck technology and design. The HDC 6 Neptune. Oh, I'm exhausted already. We haven't even gotten into it yet. The HDC 6 Neptune is a commercial hydrogen-powered fuel cell electric truck designed for use by companies and corporate fleets as opposed to Bob, Carol, and the kids taking their weekend journey to poetry camp, home of the Sonnet Summit. The designers of this unique-looking vehicle have stated that they got their inspiration for the vehicle from the Art Deco designs of 1930s Streamliner railway trains, which, to be fair, also looked like big toasters. Whatever your thoughts may be on the design, there's no denying that the Neptune is an unforgettable vehicle. Exactly what its purpose is, we have yet to find out. But if you're looking for inspiration for a future toaster design, look no further. Number 1. Scania AXL What did you think when you heard the name AXL? Presumably, you assumed that this would be the kind of hyper-masculine vehicle that either looks like a man's genitals or a jagged shard of glass. You'd be right! The Scania AXL is basically the truck equivalent of a digger, only much more technologically advanced. You can still drive a digger around, if you really want to, I guess. The Scania AXL stands out not because of an exclusive or extra feature, but the lack of a common one. There is no cab on this vehicle. While most trucks require some big, boxy seating area to, you know, allow the drivers to drive, the AXL has basically just opted out of that entirely. After all, what's the point of letting drivers sit down when you don't even need drivers? The AXL is not just autonomous, it's basically sentient. While the AXL is not an electric car, it is powered by something known as renewable biofuel, which is so vague that it could be anything from a revolutionary and eco-friendly gas to watered-down Kool-Aid. What really matters is that this vehicle is yet another step forward on our path to a driverless world. Pesky drivers. Which of these vehicles would you most like to drive? Let us know in the comments section. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now. See you next time!